hello friends today we will be discussing about the power file in oracle so the first thing is what is power file and what is the application use of the power file in oracle in oracle generally we are taking the backup two types of backup we are taking in oracle the first one is physical backup and second one is logical backup physical backup we are taking with the help of arm and utility and when we are talking about the logical for that we have expdp we called it as a data pump utility or traditional exp imp we are using power file is a concept of data pump utility so what is power file Power file is a text file where we are maintaining the information about the database objects for which we need to take the logical backups. Let's say it's a table, it can be a table space or anything for which we need to take the logical backup. Now, why we are using this power file? Generally, when we are taking the logical backup, we have the query like this, where we'll mention that we are taking the backup with the help of expdp utility and the objects for which we need to take the backup. As of now, I mentioned here as an example, tables equals to u1. Let's say we got in request from the application user where we need to take the logical backup for 20 table, maybe 25 table space. So in that case, it is very difficult here to mention everything in a one query. And maybe we are getting the same request on next day. And if we are getting the same request frequently, then every time we need to maintain this query, we need to write this query again and again. To avoid this situation, what we can do, we can write one par file where we will add the table, table space for which we need to take the logical backup. next time whenever you are getting the same request to take the logical backup for those table and table spaces we can use this power file so basically power file is a text file in terms of expdp it is like one executable file in which we are maintaining the objects for which we need to take the logical backup the extension for the par file is dot par actually there is no restriction for extension we can use any restriction extension but it is recommended it is good practice to use the dot par extension for the par file so that we can understand yes it is a par file so let's take it practically how and we can use this power file okay so this is my server let me check the database name okay Not over. i'm setting the environment here sql plus sysdb let's check the database status
okay so here okay I mentioned the wrong table space name name comma open underscore more dot v dollar v a t a okay so our database name is asmdb and it is in the read write mode okay so let me open one another terminal with the same session okay login as oracle password is also oracle sql plus So here we have one user as a U1 which is having T1 as a table T1 as a table. So let me get the details. U1 is the username, it's a schema name, and T1 is a table. So in T1 table we have six rows where I mentioned my name itself so we have six rows in the t1 table what we will do we will take the logical backup of this t1 table by using par file here I have already created one par file if you check the extension it is dot par okay let me open this par file for you see here I have mentioned that table equals to schema name dot t1 so it means to say I am taking the logical backup of t1 table directory is data pom dir parallel equals to 4 it means to say 4 work process will be there to take the backup as of now our data in the t1 table is very small so there is no need to use this p parallel option but still we will use this for your information next thing is dump file it will create the dump file u1 underscore percentage u it means to say if we are if data pump is creating two dump files so in sequence wise it will give the number as one and two like that and the last thing is log file so the log file name will be expdp underscore u1 log let's start it so we have utility to take the logical backup expdp par file equals to this is the par file name okay i am pressing enter it is asking me for the username and password i am doing it with the help of cstp privileges so now we are we can see here the export is going on The export will be finished within I guess most probably in one minute because we don't have much data in the t1 table we have only six rows here we can see that it has been exported from the t1 table okay here we got the, our dem file it's done let's see if i'm going to this dump file location ls iphone lrt so today's date is as per my server it's 10 august so these are the files which i created see we have used the percentage use parameter over there that's why it is taking the sequence as one and two and this is the log file if i'm opening this log file we can see the same content over here what we observe on the top okay so the so the important thing here is when i use the par file i am using only this much query because all the information will be stored in a par file i guess the concept is clear if you like my video 
please click on the thumb subscribe my channel and if you have any query you can write a mail to me thank you so much bye bye have a nice day